everybody. Hello. It's Andrea. <laughs> and Annette. And today is February 8th, 2019. And in Pennsylvania, it's, I don't know, what's the temperature? Let me see. What, what temperature is it there in Texas, Nettie? It is 30 degrees with a wind chill of 22. It's freaking cold. And what did you have outside today? Um, snow. Well, you know what? Just it's 50 for... degrees Fahrenheit here. Oh my God, it's warmer there. <laughs> so okay. just on the street in Bel Belton's 40, 45 minutes away, they had snow laying down and sleet and yeah. But we had just five seconds of snow and it, it didn't <laughs> lay. It looked like styrofoam balls. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> little, yeah. little fake snow. So yeah. what are you up to today? Well, I've been working. Mm -hmm. I work hard on Fridays. I don't know why. Fridays are very busy. <laughs> um, and getting ready for my retreat. Fun stuff, fun stuff. And your retreat is in? Sedona. Sedona, Sedona Arizona. Sedona. <laughs> Get you it rhymes to like my name. Nanette Fournette is going to Sedona, Arizona. Sedona, Arizona. Woo, 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 woo. You're so dorky. Don't Not just them. you. I look you amazing when it. I do it. Do you? <laughs> so what am I Fine. doing today? I'm just, this is my big point of the day is where I, I'm talking to you. <laughs> well, it is, it is quite a, a highlight for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I did look at some of my Animal Crossing game of the day, but oh, and we watched some. We've been watching The Americans. Bob and I have been watching The Americans. Have you ever watched that? No. It's these Russian, these like Russian spies in the eighties or whatever. It's weird. Okay. So I, I mean, I don't watch a lot of things. I'm watching Stargate again, and it seems. Yeah, I just like. Wait a minute! I thought you're watching wormhole. Stargate uh, Atlantis, aren't you? No, I'm watching SG1 right now, but oh. I will get to Atlantis. I like <laughs> Atlantis, too. <laughs> I love those things, yes. I know. I watched Stargate Anything with a portal. SG1 a long time ago. Well, me too, but I'm watching it again because it's, it's already paid for. It's already on my Apple, so <laughs> yeah. why not? I like to watch Supernatural over and over again because it's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, <laughs> but I I don't have decent internet, so I would have to pay for it. I, I can to attest till, to that. I have to wait till I have decent internet, and then you, I'll watch it. You don't even have indecent internet. <laughs> I don't. It's well, it is pretty indecent. Oh, okay, it's better than in Germany because I can. So I set for two episodes a night. I push download. And by the morning, they're done. So that's big. <laughs> in Germany, I used to try to download my app updates overnight. I couldn't even download one overnight, okay? So it's better than Germany. And ger in Germany, we had business internet, and it wouldn't do it. It was bad. But I think he allocated most of it to the Apple TV, so what was left wouldn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even allocate anything to my Apple TV. Apple TV takes up so much bandwidth. Um, there's no way. No way. I'm just, uh, I get to have my house to myself all weekend. My son's going to his dad's. And yeah, there you go. What are you going to do with your house all weekend? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to relax. And Okay, I do work this weekend. I'm not going to lie. But when I'm not working... I'm going to relax. Maybe I'll meditate to channel. I don't know. Fun stuff. Things I like to do. I might go to some movies. I'm not sure what's out right now. I don't know either. Yeah. Did I, I check? <laughs> yeah, check. Why not? <laughs> we could there, tell the whole world. There's this one coming out, this one movie coming out called Alita Battle Angel. And uh, I wasn't going to wow. see it because it kind of looks creepy, you know, like, because well, they make the girl's eyes look really big, like they do it with CGI or something. Mm -hmm. But it has um, Jackie Earl Haley in it, and I like him, so 
I'm probably going to see it because he's in it. Okay. I don't know if that's out this weekend or not. Maybe. So I'm going to my app. My I know your internet's not looking any faster than mine. I'm just saying. Well, it looks <gasps> loaded already. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Lego movie too. Is that out right now? Oh my God. But it looks funny. <laughs> it's not worth the. What's it cost there to go to a movie? Oh, Bob bought me this thing where, like, I pay by. I pay. We pay. 19 something a month and I can see up to three movies a week. Wow, that's really cheap because what does a movie cost there? It's really expensive there. Um, so if I wanted to see the Lego movie tonight in, well, wait a minute, that's not showing up because they only have it in, in two special theaters. Okay, so if I want to see What Men Want tonight, let's see what it is. It's 10.99. I guess that's not bad. You think that's bad? But it's like it's like six or seven dollars here. So oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. The kid who would be king is out. A dog oh, I want to see that. Yeah, I would see the, a kid that. Would. I saw Mary Poppins Returns. It was really good. Was it? Yeah, I liked it. Bumblebee. What is out. what is what men want? I, that sounds familiar. I want to know what it is. Um. Yeah, I think it's the one where the girl can all of a sudden, she can read men's minds. Mm -hmm. She gains the ability to hear men's thoughts after she's, after she's passed up for a well-deserved promotion. Mm -hmm. She questions what else she needs to do to succeed in a man's world until she gains the ability to hear man's thoughts. Anyway, that looks good. It's got uh, that lady from... Um, Oh. I know who it is. I just can't think of her name. Yet. She's she's in uh, Empire. One of one of those one oh. of those shows that's about music. You know they have like four four shows about people that make music. Whatever. <laughs> Luke, I am not your father. Or Luke, I am your father. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not your father. <laughs> We could talk about that, how it went from Luke, I am your father, to I am your father. Oh, you know what? You know I what? mean, I keep this part in, but the, I wanted to tell you the thing. Remember a couple weeks ago I said, <laughs> I'm beginning to think this, uh, <laughs> this, what is it called? The Mandela effect? Yes. Happened, but everybody's falling into my universe is because my middle son, okay, he's got two special coffee cups, okay? Mm -hmm. One of the, let me see if I, let me see if one of them is up here. You do get the one about Ed McMahon though, right? Yeah. Uh, That's but I, you can't I deny was, that one. I know, I knew he was with American Family Publishers. I just forgot. Um, no, the thing that I was going to say is, see, you're not listening. I'm in the universe that everybody's slipping into. Because look. You my, were in this universe. You were in the house when Publishers Clearing House commercials came on you were the one that had the freaking tv on all the time let me finish what i'm will you listen okay. to what i'm gonna say okay i'll listen i'll listen see right now you're on this side but when it when it when it renders you're gonna be on that side <laughs> maybe because you're on this side <laughs> maybe you'll be on this okay go ahead tell me about anyway so my middle son he had he got these two coffee mugs around the same time Mm -hmm. One of them, okay, it's shaped, it's shaped like Cthulhu. It's a character from, um, from books by H.P. Lovecraft, okay? And he loves uh -huh. the H.P. Lovecraft stories. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's a limited edition. You know what I mean? Like, it's special, okay? And then he has this other one that's a stone mug that um, his girlfriend's mom gave to him. And he originally said, I could have. Well, he used to say that the Cthulhu one couldn't go in the dishwasher. It had to be washed by hand. And that the stone one, it could go in the dishwasher. Now he's been putting his Cthulhu one in the dishwasher. And I said, what's, I said, what's going on here? You know, he doesn't like having it in the dishwasher. And 
And my son said to me, no, I'm fine with that one in the dishwasher. The other one can't go in. I am telling you that it was the other way around. Uh-huh. Well, I think that I, I see what you're saying. And, and that's, that is like timeline changes. I get it. Just like the Mandela effect. And, and we all will see more of that. I don't care what, what, I don't care what you say. Anyone that's paying attention will see timeline switch. But, um, no, my point is you're all coming into my timeline and you guys got it all messed up. No, I think you're way, <laughs> I think you're way off. Cause if you look at some of this stuff, you're like, oh, no, it was that. Ed McMahon was the spokesperson for Publishers Clearinghouse. I don't know. I remember they, they both existed at the same time. I don't remember. He was the one in the commercial that went to everyone's house, and now they say he never did that. Maybe he did it in the American Family Publishers. No. Nope. Whatever. Nope. Anyway. <clears throat> And then there's Luke, I am your father. And you that know you've never, heard. That one never changed. People just say it differently. It's like people say differently, why don't you come up sometime and see me from that old Mae West movie, but she always had said, um, why don't you come oh, up she, and see me said, sometime? They said that she said, why don't you come up and see me sometime? But she always said, why don't you come up sometime and see me? She said, see me. Yeah. Okay, but you're just in denial. If I list everything, oh, everything's no, got to be no, right. Everything's got to be right for you. No, I'm not saying I'm right. I don't know all the Mandela effects. I don't. I don't know all. Of them. How about the Berenstein Bears? How about the change in spelling? I don't think it ever changed. I remember it being Berenstein. <laughs> oh my goodness! And people just used to say Berenstein because who's got the last name Berenstein? They were the only people that did. Jan and something Berenstein. All right, let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's, let's talk about go about around in circles. I'm not like saying two different no, timelines. I'm not saying there's no such thing as this timeline thing, but I'm saying two things. Number one is what difference does it make? And number two is a lot of these things that people mention are things that people mistake commonly. Some of them are, yes. And I think it makes a difference. I think it's cool to see a different thing. I think it's cool to see things converging and changing and understanding your world better. I don't know. This is my own world. I don't care. Here's my world right here. I got a bag of popcorn. Look at that. <laughs> and I got a glass of water. I've got a pen and I've got I've got work journal. <laughs> I've got a cell phone. <laughs> I've got, got a credit card. <laughs> I've wear, I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> oh my god! I was. I I do want to talk about that. I was gonna because I've talked about this one here. I was gonna go to New Hope for a weekend, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it now because the cheapest price on the hotels there is like a hundred and seventy something dollars a night. Mm -hmm. And this place is only a little bit far away from us. Like we could take a day trip if I want, cause there's things there I want to do. Mm -hmm. I'll just do a day trip. So I might just take a cheaper weekend vacation. Cause Bob and I just want to get away for a weekend. You know what I mean? Just kind of want to hole up in a hotel and go out to eat. And I know. like holing up. Yep. In hotels. Don't even. No, it just was weird watching you because you spoke and then your mouth moved. It was like one of those badly dubbed movies. Oh, I am going to get you. Like, uh, <laughs> Stop it. How are you? Hey, wait, I could do the, wait, what is it? I could do the slop laugh. You want uh, me to it's not as funny as you think it is. Oh, do this, this is from, what, what's it called? I don't remember. Zootopia? No, I'm not going to do it if you think it's not funny. <laughs> well, do it and we'll see if it's funny. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Aww. 
<laughs> Love your victory. You look like you're yawning. <laughs> I can't do the whole laugh if you laugh. You said it wasn't even funny in your laugh. It looked like you were yawning and it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I was. This is what happens like when you don't spank your kids when they're. <laughs> I was pregnant with my second child, and Dylan was four, and um, we're in the jewelry store because my finger was swollen. I couldn't get the ring off, so I had my ring cut off, and it was one of those elegant jewelry stores, and Dylan just says really loud, well, I live in a cage. <laughs> really loud, and I'm like, I don't even know where this comes from. <laughs> and then he tells the whole public world that I beat him. He always has told people I beat him. My mom yeah, he smiles me. when he says it. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> like, she beats me. <laughs> it's because my mom beats me. Yeah, you look like a beaten child. You really do. <laughs> uh, well, you know, when he turned 18, I started chasing him around, smacking him in the back of the head. He'd be like, you're abusing me. I'm like, nope, that's assault now. <laughs> yeah, it's assault now, so you can go to jail. Just to be clear, my sister has never spanked her kid. You never spanked them, right? Not ever? The youngest. I may have hit my youngest on the bottom one. So you don't want your youngest name on here? No. I just want to um, be sure. Um, but he was extra, super, extra, super, extra, super, extra, extra spirited. Like and my oldest was, son. Yeah, it was, it was a complete reaction. But yeah, I don't, sometimes, I, I, sometimes something has to be done in order to prevent the child from doing something dangerous. Yeah, I like, usually did stuff. Like yeah. my oldest son used to try to run out into the street. He would just suddenly dart into the street when he was like three and four years old. So we had to do things, you know, to startle him so he would know this is, you can't do this because just saying no wasn't enough for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was not enough. There had to be <laughs> there had to be a reaction that did not involve him being hit by a car. I know, and I think it's a personal, you know, it's a personal choice until it gets to abuse. But I never had I never wanted to uh to do that. I remember when I was hit as a child, I knew that no one had a right to be putting their hands on me and I hit back. That's just how I was. And so, so who, I'm not gonna who spanked you as a child? <laughs> Who didn't? <laughs> I was the spirited one then. <laughs> hey, I got spanked too. I was just I was just trying to be a therapist. Who spanked you? <laughs> uh, who what did, did they it? use? Yeah. Did they use belts? Did they use buckles? Belt, hand, fist. Yeah. What did you say after belts? Hands, fist. Yeah. So, so we've talked about movies and discipline and the Mandela effect. You never, you never know what you're going to get when you come here, right? <laughs> I know, right? Merging timelines. What else can we talk about? Unicorns. I love unicorns. We can talk about unicorns. Yes, you know <laughs> I love unicorns. I was just being silly. <laughs> okay, great. Fine, we won't talk about unicorns. I had two cups of coffee today. Now I have to account for my cu cups of coffee. Who do you account to on your cup of, cups of coffee? Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's, 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 he's giving me the third degree on how much he's coffee I'm He's the coffee having. master. He's, he's the, the coffee master. master. The master of the coffee. Their coffee master. I don't know if it would be their, das, whatever. Nah. I don't know. Look at me acting like I know something. <laughs> Daddy doesn't know. Here's all you need to know. Wo ist ein gut Frühstück? Don't say that. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Where is it? You know it's I'm going to put this online. Silence. I always said was boy boo. It's like when you go, it's like when we were in Germany and we kept seeing stuff, rude stuff written in English different places. Like go shopping. No. <laughs> oh, in Paris it said, buy eggs. 
Oh yeah, this coffee. Remember that? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was uh, You took a picture of that, right? Because you loved it. I don't so. remember if I took a picture of it. We were driving past it, so I might not have got it. Oh, Lord. So, and the like, Eiffel Tower in the daytime. No one would go with me at night. I'm just, I'm, I'm over it, but really. I couldn't go. I was too sore. I know. Bob said he was going to go, but I guess he was tired, too, at that point. Nobody would go at me. To go look at the Eiffel Tower at night with the lights on it? I know we did it during the day, but Nettie wanted to go at night, and you said you might go with her, and then I think you were tired. You wanted to get in that big room of yours. And <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, because they would turn off the elevator at night because it needed a rest. That's <laughs> what he told us. <laughs> so we'd have to walk up. Three, three, the rest of the day. three floors, which was taller than three floors because these things had high ceilings. But not wide. You could barely move. Not you wide, so you would have fallen. It was, like the, <laughs> it was like this narrow. So the, heaven forbid you had to pass somebody on the staircase. It was a nice building, but it was just. <laughs> it was tight. It was very tight. Your room was way bigger than my room. You had like a huge room compared to me. Did I? I don't even. Yeah, oh, you, had had the, the you had that yeah. little narrow hallway. <laughs> Not that you can do anything in that narrow hallway, but. Remember? You can't do much. Yeah. No. <laughs> you couldn't yeah. even store a suitcase there because it would block the door. Oh, but it was extra space. I'm just saying you had a little extra space compared to. Well, they put our. Didn't they put our bed in a like this bob and i kind of had yeah. to crawl over to it and <laughs> <laughs> well we were right in paris we were in a nice we were in a nice area i think don't you think but that's how it is that's how it is when you travel in europe people that go from the u.s they have higher expectations well you have to pay way higher to get your higher expectations I because it's not how it is it. there i was fine i mean i dealt with everything except for the resting <laughs> elevator that was a little too much for me. Because you're walking all day. I have arthritis. I'm walking all day. And at night is when they rest the elevator. Rested in the morning when I have energy. You know what I'm saying? Do you, I wish you know, our faces when we walked in. And they, I wish I could have seen our faces when they said the elevator's resting. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? What? what do you what? <laughs> <laughs> did it did it maybe it was just a band station or something but they were doing it every night they were resting the elevator every night yeah i don't know and then when you go in and then the the desk is here but there's no room like you, oh, yeah, people like, wait. you had to go outside and wait until the people oh yeah you in. you couldn't there wasn't like a lobby it just went straight yeah. in like this mm -hmm. it was interesting it was fine. A uh, battery. <laughs> say my name. Say my name. Don't say my name. <laughs> I'm going to say your name. If I say your name three times, will you show up at my house? Like Beetlejuice? What do I look like? A genie in a bottle? <laughs> How am I going to show up at your house? Bob I said that's that. Bloody Mary. Got to say Bloody Mary. We used to I do that when we were kids. Times. Remember oh, when we were kids and we would do that stuff? Yeah, but it worked to scare the crap out of us. It did I know. me. I'd Nothing be like, never showed up. I know. Remember that light as a board, stiff as a feather. Stiff as a we feather. All, we all stuck our fingers under somebody, and they had to be. <laughs> and we would lift them up. <laughs> and we thought it was magic. <laughs> Woo! We can lift them but up. But it was kind of magical. I, I mean, mean, it's because they were holding themselves stiff. But it didn't feel heavy. Because we all had, it's distribution of weight across all the... Okay, Miss freaking scientist. Science is magic. always ruining magic. What's wrong with you, science? That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Stop ruining my magic. So, you know what they say, magic is just science that we don't understand yet. Maybe. Or maybe it's just magic. Maybe it's just magic. I'm going with magic. I like magic. I don't want science that, that we just don't understand yet. Magic. I, I believe I can fly. <laughs> what? 
Am I hypnotizing you? <laughs> no. Mm. No. This is how you swing on the swing, remember? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Is that how you do it? You go, woo. <laughs> Your head makes you go back and forth, right? And what like, kind of swing is that? Why are we discussing the mechanics of swings? I don't know. You know what my brain is like Mesa. lately? You know, yeah. what, you know what my memory is like? Ask your guide what my brain has been doing lately. <laughs> You're not going to like flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Dives in and up, in and up like a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, like pen dolphin. Like it feels like that sometimes. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna name this vlog because it it doesn't make any oh, mystical, magical nothingness. <laughs> no, then somebody might come here looking for magical answers, and I don't have you don't have any on here. No, you can't all, the all, the, all the magical information is hidden in this cup here. If you can, just you can send them to my send them to my Facebook uh, to my spiritual page. Oh yeah, you don't even know my spiritual. But you can link it there for. I do. I do. Let me just say what I'm doing though. Okay. I do. I channel for my classes, but I do empower self-empowerment classes that's what my focus is right now i'm not i'm not a medium that you call up and say should i move do you know where my keys are i don't i don't like doing that stuff so i'm not doing any of that no. i don't do any of that i channel for me mostly and um you know but so you want to yeah. say the name of your group or you don't want to not the group my Nanette burnett spiritual counselor Oh, okay. Uh, they, yeah, they can they can link to that. But my group is the Traveling Spiritual Center is under Infinite Horizons on Facebook, and that's uh, what I'm gonna end up doing only when I get to that point. I'm just starting. Um, is is a traveling spiritual center, and we're starting our first our first retreat is on the first of March. I'm so excited. March first. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Sedona, Arizona, Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god. So, um, good. what are the. Oh, I thought that was an earring. <laughs> no, it's the headphone you made me put in. That would, that would never work for me. They would fall out of my ears. They don't fall out. They would fall out of my ears. Look, I'm even. Where did you go? What? What? What happened? I'm alone. Hello. I have to reinvite my sister because <laughs> so apparently when I hit them, it turns it off. It doesn't work for me usually. Like I've tried to hit them to answer the phone when I was running around busy and it won't answer. I just hit my earlobes and it turned the whole thing off. All right, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. You trust these Apple products, I'm telling you. I know. <laughs> they have like they have their own agenda. I don't know where it comes from. All right. I don't know. But uh all yeah. are welcome. All, all are welcome. welcome. Come into the light. <laughs> the light my policy is all truths are valid here. I'm I'm not like I'm not one of those teacher that goes in and tries to tell people how to think so not my thing i'm all about the energy of the being together and hanging out and feeling good that's all i'm about okay dope uh, all right well i'll talk to you later well right, everybody have a good day and we'll talk to you later have a good day bye, bye. bye.